Hello, and welcome to How Do I Make Money with 3D Printing? Well, today we're going to be talking about cosplay. If you don't know what that is, it's people um, dressing up like their favorite uh, superhero, cartoon character, anime, uh, video game character, but not just dressing up as in, you know, buying some costume off a rack somewhere at a, some store. People can get really into it, paying thousands of dollars and spending hundreds of hours making their stuff. And <clears throat> what does 3D printing have to do with it? Well, maybe you want to uh, create a, I don't know, sheath for your sword. Well, before you make it, you might want to, you know, spend a couple of hours prototyping it and seeing if you could do it with a 3D printer and see if that would fit correctly, whether it's the right length, the right thickness, and doing all those things before you devote any time to it. So that's possible. However, if you do a quick search on SE for, Etsy for a Iron Man suit, you can see that there's actually money in this. Yep, people are willing to pay thousands of dollars for actual suits that they can wear and go to, you know, conventions and such and wear these things. Not a bad job, right? If you can get it. <clears throat> However, it's not just Marvel characters, of course. Um, you can see that uh, some of your favorite video game characters also can have 3D printed stuff made for them. And uh, not just their clothing, but some of their weapons and their gear. It's, if you can do it, it seems like it's very possible to make a living just doing this. And let's see, the thing is, these people get together and they, sometimes they um, just go to see each other, check out each other's uh, gear and what they've made, while others go into competitions to see if they can, you know, win best outfit or most authentic in different categories. But the idea being is that you're going to, you know, honor your character, but at the same time, you're going to try to do your best to make, you know, make a version of it that people can, you know, relate at the same time, give it your own little twist. And all this has to do with 3D printing. <clears throat> However, what do you have to do or what do you have to know in order to do stuff like this? Well, one of them is costume design because you're not just going to build stuff and say here you go you have to actually know how to design for people of different body sizes and different shapes and <clears throat> you can't just you know make one that one size fits all and in some cases the material is not going to be plastics. You may have to learn how to use uh, lighting or maybe sewing material together. So it's not just 3D printing, but the design aspect is going to be universal no matter what you choose. So that part is very important. Now, there are different uh, parts, as you can see, that do lend themselves very much to 3D printing. Can you imagine? trying to make those boots out of anything else, maybe cardboard or styrofoam, which is, it is possible, but there's something about 3D printing that is very lightweight and durable. And the thing is, if part of it breaks, it's very easy to just print the part because you already have the file. So 3D printing is very, very conducive to this, uh, I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, I don't know this fun, but at the same time, this type of job. But the thing is, it's not always, you know, the focus isn't always an entire suit. Sometimes you're going to be making parts, maybe just the helmets, a uh, large sword, uh, uh, horns. I don't know. The thing is, it doesn't have to be an, ent an entire suit. Maybe you're just making parts of a suit or um, weapons, of course, like I said earlier. So, to do stuff like this, what do you have to do? Well, obviously, you don't need a degree. You do know how to. You do need to know how to study and make yourself you know, better and improve in your designing. But of course, you need to have awareness of how to use software for 3D printing. And of course, 
um, I'm going to link this, uh, this site that has a list of 3D printing software that you can check out and of course get better at so that you can design stuff. And another thing you need to consider is if you're going to be doing this, you might want to understand what kind of printer works best for what you are doing. And I'll be linking this article here on the video description that says, hey, these are the things that you should consider when you are buying a printer for your cosplay. You know, what kind of usage are you going to get? Are you going to use it all the time? Use it every once in a while? Are the designs going to be complex or pretty easy? There's a lot of things to consider. Also, how much are you willing to pay? Are you going to pay something, you know, pretty, pretty low because, you know, it, the quality isn't that important or not that this will give you a bad quality because this, you know, this, this one here is not a bad printer. It's just a small bed is one thing to consider. Maybe you don't want to do um, PLA. Maybe you want to do resin because the details do really shine when you're using a resin printer. It's another thing to consider. And of course, there's bigger beds and possibly a lot easier to use, less maintenance. So again, when you're considering doing something like this, you have to consider all the variables, including what you're going to charge and how much, uh, how many hours are you willing to dedicate to do something like this? How many times are you willing to fix something that a, a, uh, your customer says, you know what, this shoulder pad isn't really fitting correctly, or maybe these, these, uh, shin guards aren't uh, the right size. Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to make the changes for that customer? So it's not just making something and being like, yeah, this is awesome. You have to consider all the things that are going to happen because they do happen. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget this stuff can be pretty cool, but it's going to be labor intensive. All right. Have a good one.